parts of me, there was days because it's a monotonous fucking day, you know, would question life. You're like, am I a fucking life? You know, like, like, did I die? You know, like, you know, shit like that because sure. I had no, like, everybody was gone. By then, my grandparents had passed. Um, you know, there was no real connection to anything that was Jose, you know, like little Jose, they still, you know, like, other than my homies, the ones that knew me from as a kid that were there or they weren't there. And so, like, I would, like, question that, you know, like, I was, and then, so I, internally, I was, like, churning, like, like thinking and thinking and, and then, but I was also um, intelligent enough to remember, like I said, those things that were given to me, those, those blessings by the other gods, you know, here's their fucking, you know, you know, like those fucking go uh, Greek fucking mythologies, you know, when, when homeboy Perseus or whatever gets this little fucking flute and shit, you know, and then he, and when he, you know, when you need to use it, you know, like, what the fuck am I going to do with it or oh, well, whatever. And then the time comes. Oh shit You know yeah, Like yeah, that You know yeah. those little Fucking nuggets of wisdom You know were starting To like pop up And I remember those And I used to think Like oh shit You know everything Like like again Another veil was kind of Dropped you know And you, you, you do, do you really credit That to reading I mean do you really Credit that to To, to like sort of Expanding your universe By this sort of Also ever present thing That is that is books And literature And, 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 and you, you see The size of the world Yeah man I remember Frankenstein man And I just remember Words that didn't make sense until later. I remember reading these books that were, you know, like over my fucking dome yeah. when I was reading them, but made sense after, you know, like the verses of like, like how Mary Shelley said, you know, when he quoted that, he's like, hey, if, if, if I can inspire love, then I'll fucking create fear, you know? And, and, and it's like, I didn't get that until later, you know, when it's like, if you can't, if no one wants to love me, then fuck it, you know, I'm going to be this motherfucker, you know, or, yeah. or fuck it, I'm going to be the person that you want me to be, yeah. and I'm going to be it at the best, you know? And then, it didn't dawn and click until I fucking like, oh shit, you know, those, those moments of that or, or, play, or verses from like Lord of the Flies, you know, Lord of the Flies is one that I think about when I first went to High Desert and my first riot when we went out and it was like a small riot, meaning that we were coming out by fours and by sixes and then by what, the time we hit the 10, that's when we strike, you know, and I was one of the first ones with my, like my first one was that and was that and I remember walking up and a guy who was like dictating to us, he was so fucking old in my mind, like fucking old i remember i used to tell him that after when we were in the hall you fucking old man he was 23 24 wow. but he was already a veteran you know in that sense and he was like telling me like hey you know what this is this you know when this happens don't fall man don't fucking fall you know don't not the caigas you know because then you're fucked you know and so like he was giving me these you know these words of wisdom and then i think of lord of the flies man like fuck dude like i remember that a kid's fucking telling other kids dictating how to you know violent you know in that sense and that's what it was you know and so, like, that type of shit started to float up again, like, like the alphabet soup, you know, the, the words that I, that I read, the, the, the Count of Monte Cristo, like, things like that, or even fucking Batman, you know. And so, it, 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 I, yeah, I attribute that in education, you know, it, to help. It, I'm not saying that that was 100% because I had education that wasn't in a fucking book, you know. I had education that was, that I earned <laughs> by fucking trial and error or that was blessed upon me, like I said, by the words of fucking... Kronos, you know, you know, he fucking said these words into the mm. air that I understood the language and I didn't understand the meaning. I just knew that what it, the word meant. And then when I was over there, I understood what it meant, you know, and then that's what I attribute as far as like my path towards what I would say, what was said as like rehabilitation. You know, I started to like things were starting to change and you know? I started to be like, I fucked it. I'm like, is this it? Like, what the fuck am I meant to be then? If this was all I meant to be, like, it's fucking whack, you know? Like, why the fuck? Why? You know, like, the fuck, man? Never, like, nothing else. Why couldn't I have been a fucking chef, you know, or something else, you know? Little things like that. And then here comes, like, people like, like that guy, you know, who's, like, telling me these things, but I could I wasn't hearing it because I was hearing it, but I wasn't, like, I wasn't hearing it, you know? And then finally I was hearing it and hearing it, hearing it and hearing it because, yeah, people like him, you know? Constantly, Budnick is one of the ones that, yeah, I could say, but he's just constantly, constant, 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 which I feel like people like that in general know that you have to be doing that because of the inconsistency that they are and the consistency that you are. You know, it's like trying to call someone underwater, mm. you know, mm. and they're fucking, you just got to keep doing it to right. fucking, no, what the fuck, what is, the that? fuck is that? Yeah. So, yeah. And, and so I felt like that had to do with that and, and my reading, man, I, my, my ability to like, think outside of the box before I even knew about that. When I was that kid reading those fucking books, when I was this kid reading about Batman, but like, I liked Batman and I liked 
you know, characters like that. But then I realized why I connected to those type of characters. They were fucked up like me, you know. They just had those little things, you know, like fucking he had no parents, you know. Like he fucking grew raised in an institution, you know, raised by fucking a surrogate, you know. Had a fucking agenda, you know. Felt that he was doing was right, which is right. But like little things like that, you know, I was like, oh shit, I can relate to that. Silver Surfer was one of my favorite too, you know, mm. because he was the guy who, who gave his life up to save his home. But here he is in prison elsewhere with people that dislike him and he feels fucking like an outcast, mm. you know. And then I started to think like, fuck, you know, all this started to kind of make sense, but didn't make sense because at the end of the day I had life, you know. So it's like, what's the fucking, is this like another fucking curse? Like, is this another fucking slap in the face for me now to know and not to be right, fucked? Right, you know? come, so, come, come face to yeah, face yeah, with this and, knowledge and, and with this hope when you, there's really none there's there. There's nothing there, you know. So then I felt like looking back, I think it's like, I, it, it's not divine inspiration, like that, like divinity or anything. It's just like it was just meant to be. You know, I needed to go through these routes. I don't want to say it like that because that kind of minimizes the the people who are out here fighting against, you know, incarcerating people in general. You know, which 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 I believe in to an extent. You know, but I also understand that like for me that was my path. You know, and that's the way it went, and that's the way I came to my conclusions. Unfortunately, I wish it would have been fucking. 14 that I learned this shit and then right. 15 I was cool and then you wouldn't you and I would probably not be talking in this context maybe right. in another context right. you know right. and so like when that happened it was just like kind of sucked because then I knew and now I know and it's like fuck man it's like that pro athlete who's really good but fucking you're old man you, you, you ain't gonna fucking play in the game so it's like it, 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 it was that but then things started to change man like what? laws perspectives you know uh, at least I, what I at that time what I heard because I was still in that box and people like Scott and people like Elizabeth Calvin were coming in and be like hey you know people are thinking different or people are this people are that and but but at the same time it's like but I'm still here you know so what the fuck does that got to do with me you know you know but they were like again they had a uphill battle in a different battle now meaning like when those people started coming in your life and you have sort of like this other introduction of these new ideas this 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 new sort of approach this 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 possibility this kernel of hope that's starting to bubble up do you think that somebody else can reach somebody who's in that state or do they need to take that first step themselves to realize it you know there might be some something more to life right. there might be like you ha do, do you have to start to, to at least acknowledge that maybe i want a little bit more than that in order to be reached i feel like i'm a proponent for that because i believe you have to because an addict is an addict and they don't see shit. Someone who's crazy doesn't think they're fucking crazy. Right. They think everyone else is tripping on them, you know? Right. So it's like, you have to have that moment of like, man, am I crazy? Right, like, am I, am I fucking Am up? I fucking crazy, you yeah. know? And so like, yeah, I feel like that has to be something in there. Has to, because ha you have to have a, like a, like a contrast for what it is that you're, your normality, there has to be a contrast that's kind of like giving you the eyebrow to yourself that's contradicting what you're living, you know? Straight up. And so, and then from that, it's, two things could possibly happen in my limited opinion of what that could clinically be is that one, you could either eat it up yourself and like justify it, condone it, minimize it. Ah, nah, 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 nah. And then if no one's around you to kind of like stoke the fire of that contradiction or anything, not even a person, just anything, it's going to get fucking, you know, assimilated and justified and then buried into where, the problem would be to fucking get that person to come back and look for it in their little treasure toy. It'd take time. And so for me, it was there and I think I had it because I was already questioning it. And then little, like I said, it was kind of fucking looking back. It's kind of like all kinds of fucking worlds were fucking coming into being, you know, like boom, boom, boom. Every path that, that I had, everything that was coming into being laws were changing here. I am now having to go to board and I don't know what the fuck that was. I heard of it, but it, it was always downplayed. Oh, you're never getting out. So who gives a fuck? You know, like board is board is whack, you know? And so I'm going to board and having these conversations and they're listening to me and they're like, you have something in there, but you just raw, you know, like in that context, like you, I see it, you know? And I think that's what they saw. Meaning like I would talk like I am now, but a little bit more on the other side, you know, I would be talking and they would be like, this fucker knows what the fuck, but he just doesn't know, you know, he knows he's supposed to, he's walking that way. But he doesn't know that he needs to go that way, like just a little bit to the right. You know, he's over here fucking walking blindly, but he knows what he needs to do. I think at least we think he does. And then so that's where I feel like, yeah, they started to like 
try and then now it was just like like a little kid who just didn't want to like no no you know like it's good for you it's good for you just fucking eat it man nah, 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 nah. he's like you know you eat the food you have to eat right yeah i know i have to eat i know i have to eat good food you know that certain food that they, yeah yeah but i'm not eat that oh why not oh, it looks ugly you know whatever you know so then they knew that so then from there i felt like they enabled me and then like i said the fucking situations with like the, i heard this dude talk like what the fuck you know and then like conversations and then them coming from the outside my only true link now to the outside world and it wasn't like my link to my blood relatives or to my anything like that was my connection to jose you know it was mostly along the lines of like shit's changing they're looking at it differently they're seeing that they fucked up i mean like they shouldn't send a fucking minor here you know they, they should have at least tried a little harder you know but here's your chance you know and my like, chance for what you know it's about fucking something you know it's like they're never gonna let me out. I've never seen anybody go home. I would fucking be that guy, you know, that fucking, fucking dude, you know, fucking thinking they're gonna drown, holding onto a stick in two feet of water, you know. And there's like, just stand up, stand up. No, 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 no. I don't fucking see no everybody, but nobody's standing up, you know, like that type of shit. Mm. You know? And they were like, this gonna happen. You just got, it's, you know, just then this and that. And then I went to board for the first time, and I remember how ill prepared I was, but kind of prepared. I was playing, I always tell this because I was playing soccer and I heard it. I knew I had to go. I had to duck it. And I knew I had to go to fucking uh, board. But I didn't give a fuck, you know, because every, everything around me told me this doesn't matter. You know, not getting out. You know, this life is life. You, uh, have you seen anybody? You're my little fucking dude. Have you ever seen anybody go home? No. You know, like, so why are you even fucking doing that? You know, so like, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, you're right. You know, fuck that. You know, so then I was playing. Hey, you got to go. I'm not going to do shit. You know, it's like... <laughs> Fucking defiant little kid, I ain't doing shit. You know, yeah. it's like, well, you're gonna go or you're gonna, you know, they're gonna take you. And it's like, take me? Like, why? You know, like, like can I just deny it? And it's yeah. like, no, no, you gotta go. So I go and I'm like, well, you know what? I gotta shower. Stipulating shit. He's <laughs> like, you know, like, looking back, I'm like, what the fuck? You know, yeah, but yeah. he's like, go ahead, just make it quick. And I fucking shower, I walk out to the gate and the guy was like, hey, man, the CEO. He's like, fuck, man. You know, like, and I'm like, hey, I had a shower. And he's like, fuck. And he's like, where's your folder? You know, you know, you're like, portfolio. I'm like, folder? What the fuck are you talking about? Folder. And he's like, all right, fuck it. You know, <laughs> like, yeah. I ain't gonna let, let's go. You know, yeah. like, yeah, like, I don't even want to. We tried. Yeah. yeah. So here I am, and I go to this hearing, and they sit me down, and they start asking me these questions, you know, like this, but more intimidating because yeah. you got fucking commissioners and a district attorney, and you got guards, and it's just like this, and you're like this, and you're fucking alone again. And obviously, authority and all this shit. Hey. And they're asking me, hey, you do. The first question they asked me, I remember, is like, do you know what you're in here for? Which is a loaded question because they're trying to vaguely see what it is, you know. Yeah, you, I could say, yeah, what do you mean? You know, like, oh, okay, now we're starting like that, okay. You know, that's where they were like, what do you mean? Like, if I were to say that, what do you mean? You know, like, okay. Okay, they, and then they set the tone. So, but when they ask me, it's like, you know what you're in here for? I go, you what, mean in here or in here? You know? And they're like, yeah, you know what you're in here in prison. And I was like, yeah, I committed a murder and fucking doing time. You know, and they're like, okay, you know. And so, you know, then they're asking. And so I was answering like that, you know, like, you know, do you know this? Like, yeah, man, fuck, shit happens, you know. And then they're like, we're going to have to stop this, you know. Give us a second, you know. And they pause, which is something that they really rarely do, which is they stop the hearing. And they took me back to the cage. And then they had my lawyer. And they came and my lawyer came back and said, hey, I don't know what the fuck. But they're asking for you to postpone, you know. I go, I don't want to fucking postpone. I remember telling him, I don't want to do that shit because then I had to do it again, right? He's like, yeah, they're asking you to postpone for come back in three years. I'm like, man, fuck that. I don't want to come back no years. You know, like, I don't want to do this shit. You know, like, I don't want to do this, man. And he's like, they never do that. I don't know why they fucking did that. You know, they just saying, hey, advise your fucking client. That's what they told him. Advise your client to postpone, you know? And I was like, nah, nah, nah. And I just remember he was like, like, like talking to a, fucking kid I, I would assume you know like talking to a kid who's just like you you need to eat you know like i'm not gonna eat shit you know like just like that and finally he was like you know what fuck it do whatever the fuck you want he told me and i'm like oh you know what i guess i'll postpone he's like you motherfucker man like why you fucking made me do that i was like well you're getting all bent out of shape man so i feel like fuck if you're pissed and it has nothing to do with you then there must be something some reason, some yeah. reason why because you're really fucking you're red, you know, he's a white dude, and he's like, you're fucking red, you know, I told him that, he's like, you're mad, you know, yeah. and he's like, fuck, man, you know, and he, he took me back, and they told, and they were like, Jose, so it's our, uh, you know, it's brought to our attention that you want to postpone, correct, and I'm like, I remember like, yeah, yeah, sure, and he's like, okay, we're gonna post this here, you know, blah, 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 you know, the whole formalities, blah, 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 okay, cut, 
the tape, you know, because they're recording all this. And they're like, he's like, do you understand that, you know, had you gone on with this hearing, we're going to deny you for at least 15 years. Yeah.